Well, the first day of autumn officially begins on Wednesday, and for many local businesses, harvest season is already underway. That's right, and that includes the grape crop at local wineries. We stopped by Country Heritage to try our hand at harvesting some grapes. Take a look. It's harvest time here in Northeast Indiana, and that includes the grape crop. We're joined today by Jennifer and Jeremy Luter here at Country Heritage Winery in Layado. We've got Marquette grapes right here. Tell us what goes into growing this grape crop and what goes into harvesting it as well. Okay, well, it's been a weird year we've had, obviously, with all the rain and stuff, but as you can see, the grapes actually look pretty nice here. We can get, there's a nice little cluster right there. Um, basically, the rain at the beginning doesn't matter as much as the rain at the end. Okay. Once they start going through veraison, once they start changing color, you really don't want rain anymore. Okay. Just the opposite of the corn and bean farmers around here. Um, and what that does is it concentrates the wine. Yeah, hand picked, right? Hand picked grapes. Yeah. It's about 120 man hours per acre on this wow. variety. Certain varieties take a little harder. I mean, these are, as you can see, pretty much out in the open. They're easy to pick, but it's, it's, it's not like blueberries or other fruits you had to pick individually. We're picking by the cluster, so it does go pretty fast. Oh, yeah. How many varieties do you plant? Um, there's approximately five varieties here and another four at the house. It's obviously harder work to grow your own grapes, but you get to control when they're being picked. Uh -huh. I mean, these are at the peak of ripeness right now. So basically with grapes, it's a lot different than other fruits. Other fruits, you have to look at the bush or the tree and see if it, the fruit is ripe because it doesn't all ripen at the same time. With grapes, we wait till the peak of ripeness, so all the clusters get picked on a grapevine. So basically, you just come up, Pull the cluster and you just clip it as close to the vine as you can and put it in the tub. It's that simple. You guys, the most important part, don't cut yourself. <laughs> yeah. Don't cut yourself. <laughs> Easy, enough. Easy, Easy enough. enough. Are there any pest problems that you have to worry about with a lot of these vines? The birds are by far the worst pest that we have in this vineyard. And that's why you'll be able to see these nets over here that we put over top just to keep the birds from getting into them, basically. And you'll take the nets off then when it's time to harvest? The nets are taken off um, the same morning that we pick them. You don't want to take them off too, too far ahead of time because the birds will literally come in when they see them coming off. When you're on one end of the vineyard, they'll be on the other. So after all of these grapes are hand-picked, what next? They'll go inside and we'll crush them, which we'll show you in just a little bit. But that's just part of the story. That's right. We'll find out how those grapes become wine a little later in the show. But you know what? I have to say I have a new appreciation in my next glass of wine, mm -hmm. how all of this kind of, uh, how it happens. Oh, because yeah. it's a lengthy process. It's an all-year-round work. Well, so. you said 120 man-hours go into each variety of those grapes, and they have, you know, at least nine different varieties there. So it was really impressive to see the operation, you know, as it was uh, as it was going on there. And, of course, you know, with, with the music, and with the harvest season, just get you in the mood for fall. Just one more thing to get you in the mood for fall. I love it. Gotta love it. All right.